Hi everybody, how are you doing? How have you been? I hope you're right. This video just comes like an exclusive of back the scenes at the end of my day. This is how I look like. Very tired. Trying to focus myself. But this is life. Just here sharing with you. the day after the hustle this is me this is me at the end of the day oh we fell oh. anyway this is me at the end of the day and they decided to come here and say hello to you guys my little family if this is your first time watching me this is your girl my family I am your one stop girl for positivity you will learn a lot from me I'm just getting started so I wanted to just come here and say hello and I literally have a word of gratitude thanking, thanking the universe oh God, for believing God for the gift of the day we survive a lot of things during the day we go on journeys we go places, we meet people who are kind and unkind. So at the end of the day, we have all these energies trying to get rooted within us ourselves. So I just yet to say that it's up to you or it's up to to us on how we deal with the energies we have before we go to bed. Yeah, I feel my feet are so hot. I had to walk a lot today in the London Underground. Going to get a bus, going to get a train. But anyway, all those energies, seeing different things in the city, everything, the mind is just here and there, reflecting on my work today. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, I just want you to tell me how do you cope at the end of the day when you're really tired. Work felt like easy today, but at some point towards the end of, of, of work, I really felt like I'm really, really tired. And I can really feel it. And when I'm tired, this eye, this eye, there's always a red shot in here that shows like I'm stressed a lot. Anywho, enough of the chit chat. I'm just gonna wish you a lovely night, lovely day, morning, evening, wherever you're watching from. Share with me how you survive, how you survive a long day. I'm just making a cup of tea. you're still here with me I'm going to show you how I make millet porridge like I just mentioned just a few seconds ago here's millet flour I've started adding in some cold water I'm trying to make a paste making a paste with the millet porridge and then I'm gonna add in some boiling hot water my hot water is already boiled but have to, you have to stir this until all the lumps are out I want it I want it so loose because I want to I want to put it in the fridge when it cools down so that I can keep drinking a little bit anyway let me boil I see my water boiling. So 
So I'm going to power the hot water in here. I have to be careful not to burn myself. So that's how I'm cooking the porridge. This is boiling hot water. Yeah, so, so you have to stir quickly. Make sure that there are no lumps in here. Yeah, I wanted it so watery and I want it more watery, so I'll add in more water later. So this is what they call HTD Vita in my local language. So this is my porridge. I'll have to put it here to cool overnight. my spicy tea and then go to bed. Hi, are you still there? I hope you're still watching. So I have made a minute porridge like you've seen and I'll leave it to sit overnight and I'll put it in a container. I'll put it in the fridge and I have made spicy tea. These are mixed spices or tea masala with some lemon. So I'm gonna add in some honey, let it cool and I just came here, you know, to share my experience with you, how I feel. I hope you, if you share the same vibes after work, if you feel this swamped, yeah, share some tips. Just gonna make a cup of tea. I've already made a cup of tea. I'm gonna wait for it to cool and watch for five minutes and then go to bed. And of course, I'm grateful gratitude is the most important otherwise i hope to see you another time until next time this is your girl martha like subscribe share and yeah